Hey everybody, welcome to Touchables, the show where we give tips and tricks on mobile gaming. It's your boy, Leo Zombie, and today we're going to be playing Fruit Ninja, specifically the mini games on Fruit Ninja. This game has so much diversity, there's so many different ways to play it, and even within the mini games, there are so many different ways to play the mini games. Let's see what they're all about. Let's cut to the action. <laughs> cherry bomb! Slice cherries near the bombs. Don't slice the bombs. Again, words to live by. So you want to cut it as it approaches the bombs so that it gets rid of the bombs. Easy enough. But be careful. And I rec- whoa! Ooh, it was quick on that one. And I recommend letting it float for just a little bit so that you can see how close it gets to the bomb. Sometimes you're not going to be as lucky as I was there. I'm unbelievable, as you can see there. It gives you better timing to get near the bombs, and it lets you kind of time their arc so that you know where they're going to be. Wham! Slice, slice. Slice. Ooh, close one. See, like I'm trying to catch a cherry in between the bombs. That's oh, I hit a bomb because I'm a scrub. That was a really good score. Put that one on the internet. Put it in the library books. So that game's good because it teaches you how to avoid bombs and how to learn your timing on fruit arc. So that's cherry bomb. Let's check out. Ooh, decisions, decisions. Let's do. Uh, let's do swarm. Let's do swarm. Slice the fruit and steer the bombs away. Oh, why are you just hovering there, bomb? I don't appreciate your attitude there. Oh, they're trying to come after me too. Uh, uh, uh. See, I'm still trying to get those those combos by connecting the fruit. Man, I can't even like hit them. There's too much bombs. Oh, if I move my finger, it moves the bomb. All right, we're learning together here, team. So you kind of want to do that to keep them in line, to move them away from your fruit. But my time is up. And the point is to see how many you can get. But look at that score. Oh, just short of the third bar. But still not too shabby for my first try. All right, let's play one more. And I think it's obvious we're going to go with time attack. Let's see what we can do with that. Shiny lemons at time. That's what my grandma used to say. Get some shiny lemons. Where you at, shiny lemons? Boom, give me that. Oh, oh, oh. Wham. Oh, look at all that extra time. I'm rich with time. I own time. When people say they don't have time, they talk to me because I can give them time. Wham, wham, wham. Coast to coast slicing like a true ninja. Oh, all those. Eggs. Give me all that time. All that free time. Ooh, ooh. So slick. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Sometimes it's good to let them like finish their arc so that you can get the, wham, the combos like that. And add those sound effects, please. It makes the game so much better. Oh, 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 too slick, bombs. Okay, well, that was pretty good. 221. How does that fare? <laughs> Apparently lackluster. It's all right. It is good training, though, to work on your timing, because as you can see at the beginning of that match, I was just a little bit too hasty. At the end, I learned to slow it down, got better combos, higher scores. Another point that's worth noting is that when you hit level 24, you're able to unlock a special sword that will increase the frequency of the lemons that add time to your, uh, to your rounds. So that mode will kind of get you in the headspace of looking for those lemons when you do have that sword. So obviously golden lemons are the best. So that's it guys. Those are some of the mini games within Fruit Ninja. As always, use the mini games both for entertainment but also for practice so that you can do really well in the arcade mode, the classic mode, and of course, challenge mode, which is super fun and super rewarding and you feel like a boss cutting down other ninjas. As always, thank you guys so much for watching Touchables, and make sure you tweet at us and give us your advice. What minigames are you using to practice for what modes? We'll see you guys next time. Bye.